the Eucharistic miracle of Alatri, Italy, in the year 1228. During the 13th century in Alatri, Italy, a young woman was heartbroken. She lost the love of her life and was determined to win him back. This woman was willing to do anything, and not being able to convince him with words, she sought out someone who could forcibly change his mind. The young woman found a sorceress and begged her for anything that would bring this man back to her. The sorceress had an idea. She would make a love potion for the woman, but needed a vital ingredient, a consecrated host. Desperate, the young woman attended the next mass at the local cathedral and approached the priest to receive communion on her tongue. The priest placed the Eucharist on her tongue, but the woman kept it in her mouth, turned around and when she was out of sight, spit the host back out on a piece of cloth. She kept it in the cloth, walked back home, and kept the host and cloth until she was able to visit the sorceress again. After three days, she picked the cloth back up again to check on the host. What she discovered was not the white host she originally had. Instead, the young woman found a bleeding part of flesh and realized that the host was transformed physically into the body and blood of Christ. She rushed back to the church and repented of her sin. The sorceress also repented and both women were converted after such a miracle. One could say that she fell under the spell of the true love potion of God's presence in the Eucharist. Pope Gregory IX investigated the miracle at the time and saw it as a visible sign against the various claims that Jesus was not present in the Eucharist. It confirmed for him and those who witnessed it that Jesus was truly present in the Eucharist, body, blood, soul, and divinity. The miracle coincided with other similar events around Europe and helped pave the way to the institution of the Feast of Corpus Christi, which entreated the faithful to believe with ardent faith in the unseen miracle that occurs every time the Mass is offered. The bleeding host is still preserved in the Cathedral of Altary and is on display in Amon's trance. It remains as a reminder of Jesus' undying love for all humanity in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. The most authoritative testimony regarding this miracle is found in the bull, Fraternitas Tui, March 13, 1228, written by Pope Gregory IX, in response to Bishop Giovanni of Alatri. The text reads, Gregory, Bishop and Servant of the Servants of God, to Venerable Brother Bishop of Alatri, greetings and apostolic blessing. We have received your letter, dearest brother, in which you informed us of a certain young woman misguided by an evil woman, who, after having received from the priest the most holy body of Christ, held the sacred host in her mouth until the right moment to conceal the holy Eucharist in a cloth. After three days, she discovered the same body which she had received in the form of bread transformed into flesh, as everyone has been able to verify with their own eyes. Because both women have humbly revealed this to you, you desire our opinion regarding the punishment that should be imposed upon them. First, we give thanks with all our strength to him who, though he always operates in marvelous ways, in this case repeats miracles and produces new wonders so that he calls to sinners, converts evildoers, and confounds heretics while strengthening faith in the truth of the Catholic Church, sustaining hope and reigniting charity. Thus, dearest brother, by means of this apostolic letter, we dispose that you inflict a milder punishment on the young woman, whom we hold to have done this more from weakness than malice, especially because it can be believed that she has sufficiently repented in confessing her sin. To the instigator, who with her perversion pushed the young woman to commit sacrilege, apply those disciplinary measures that we believe opportune to leave to your judgment. She should also visit the nearest bishop so that she can humbly confess her crime, imploring pardon with devout submission. The Pope interpreted this episode as a sign against the widespread heresies regarding the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist and pardoned the two repentant women. A commemorative medal was coined on the 750th anniversary of the miracle, one side showed the cathedral facade and the reliquary, while the other a bust of Pope Gregory IX with the papal bull.